This is an introduction to the many ways of plotting your data in Circa. We're going to create a beautiful Circos plot that shows one of every plot type. So I'm going to pick our genome file and chromosome and size are chosen correctly. So I'm going to hit submit. This just tells me about alts that are too small to show, but I got all the big chromosomes that I want to visualize here. And now for each track, we can, let's do one of each type. So I'll start with rectangles. I'm going to load some of the files I need, and I'm just going to make it really simple here and just have one bed file and one bed PE file. So the bed file just has individual variant points and a bed PE file has those kind of connections that we want to draw. So I'm going to start with the bed file. And if I pick rectangles for this, we have the chromosome, the start position, and the end position refers to the stop. And so when you draw a rectangle, this is what you're going to get. So we get a little rectangle for each data point. And it has the chromosome for picking which one, the start and the stop position. So that's it. Now let's make another track. And we still have this selected. So I'm just going to pick scatter plot for these structural variants. Chromosome, correct. Position can be start. And the Y location here can be the size. So this one has a Y instead of a start and stop. All right, so this is good. And so this Y position right here determines this would be basically zero or the minimum on the scale. So it scales it automatically. So this is the minimum and the outside is the maximum. Sweet. So now you can see we have a track with labels out here, one with rectangles and one with a scatter plot. Let's keep going. We have structural variants. Let's do a line plot. Again, size is good. So that's the line plot. And you'll see how these look fairly similar. Now I'll do the area chart here. And this is also, I'll set y equal to size. We're basically just doing the same thing here over and over again. And this is, you can see that the area and the line chart are very similar. Now, in addition to area, the next one is connections. For this one, I'm going to need the bed PE file because this file only has one chromosome, so I wouldn't know what to pick for chromosome two. So I'm going to switch it to the long range variance bed PE file that I have. And this one has chromosome two and then start two. So that's the start location of the second breakpoint from that variant and we're gonna push that. Very nice. Now I do have one last type, which is text. So this one's gonna be fun. Um, I'm gonna do that with the bed PE file just for fun, but we're gonna plot it on the first one. So we have chromosome, position, that's fine. And then text is the text is actually gonna be shown. So I can actually look at, if I hover over these, I can see what type of data is in here. So this shows me a little example, e.g. Dell. If I pick that and we hit push the button, you now see the text plotted here in a way that is easily readable if they're not too close together. Right now, many of them are overlapping, so it looks a little messy, but that's something you can do from filtering in the file itself. So you would only usually want to plot a few things here. I do want to show you one last thing. We can also style these a little bit. So one thing that you can do on any track is to add outlines around them. And that can help you to just make everything look more organized. Sometimes this looks very good. And so if you want to, you can add outlines to any of the tracks that you want to add them to. And so here we have a very complicated but very nice looking still Circos plot made using Circa and this shows you one of each type of layer. So that's it for this tutorial. Check out Circa at omgenomics.com slash Circa.